again, everybody, and welcome back to Lee's Stuff, where I talk about issues that uh, my clients and hopefully you, the viewers, have submitted to me, uh, or issues, problems that they've been having, and I try to help solve them, to solve some of their computer issues. And uh, actually, today we're going to talk about how to back up our contacts in Gmail. And uh, the reason that I would like to do this is because I am planning on making some changes to how I handle email on my local side and because of that uh, and how I sync between my local side and Gmail I want to make sure that I don't destroy my Gmail contacts and for those of you that have done this before and know uh, you know you, you start a sync program and suddenly something goes haywire and it erases all of your contacts on one side and it syncs and that boom it's gone from the other side and now you've lost everything so uh, rather than than fall uh, all over ourselves trying to figure out how to fix that problem we're just going to save them and we're going to store them. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my Gmail and you can see here that I've I, I blurred out all of the information that, that's in mine because I don't I want uh, everybody else's info to be out in the real world there. They may not want it out in the real world. So uh, at any rate, know that I have more than 200 contacts just in the My Contacts alone. I've got 205, but I think I have 260. And I want to save those. I want to make sure that I save them properly. So how do I do that? Now, uh, here's what you do is you come to this more actions button and you'll see that there is an option called export and you'll see that there's a an option called import and these two allow you to export or save the contacts to a list and then if you want to or if anything happens or if you need to to reimport them you can import them back into Google from that file also uh, you'll notice when I say export here I'm going to click export you'll see that I have all my contacts which is 261 or I have groups and there's a bunch of different groups that I've got in here but uh, you can select a specific group and only export that group if you want but in this case I'm going to export all of them now also you'll notice that there are a couple of different formats here uh, the first is the Google format which is you know native to itself and CSV by the way means comma separated values so each of these values the first name last name company name phone number all that are basically little fields which are data surrounded by quotations and then separated with commas so that way it knows exactly which field that data actually has to go into now uh, Google has its own format of that file and how it works but it also creates one for Outlook one that Outlook will be able to read more easily and then import directly into Outlook. So for example, if you wanted to, uh, for example, export all of your contacts here and you had a brand new copy of, of Outlook that had no contacts in it, you could then just import them directly into uh, Outlook through that file. So there's a reason why you might want to save these in different formats, and we are actually going to do both here in just a moment. The last is a vCard format, and for those of you that are Mac users, you'll recognize the vCard, and actually Outlook uses it as well. Um, it, it does an Apple address book uh, export, so it's in a vCard format specifically, uh, and that is, is actually pretty useful. I use Mac as well, so if I wanted to put them in my Apple, I would do the same. Uh, for the same export here and then I can import them back into my Mac however my Mac syncs automatically with Google as well so I'm not going to worry about it because I'm saving it directly here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the first one in the Google format and I'm going to do that by simply selecting export and then I'm going to save this file and I'm going to save it to a folder on my desktop that I've created called Gmail storage you may have seen it at the opening of the video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this Google contacts in Google format okay and you'll see it's in Excel comma separated values file which is basically just a CSV file Oops, Excel format right so I'm gonna save that okay and then I'm gonna close now I'm gonna do this again and I'm gonna export it in the CSV format for Outlook and now I'll have Google contacts in Outlook format now I, uh, <laughs> silly, silly windows in the way it handles its permissions. Uh, okay, so now you'll see that I actually have two files in my Gmail storage uh, folder. If I can open it there, there it is. And each of these are basically all the same information, but just in different formats. You'll notice they're little different sizes. However, notice that that of course this is February first, two thousand eleven, uh, and you'll notice that that any change I make after uh, this date and after these saves will not be included in these files 
So if for some reason you make a change, then you're going to want to do that export again. So it's something that you might want to set up, maybe a little reminder in Outlook or, or something that, that reminds you, <clears throat> pardon me, to uh, do an export on a regular basis, just so that you know that you've got this information in, in good format. It is not enough to simply sync between Outlook and Google and then for example let's say you followed in my other videos where you've made a system image of your 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 drive and you go to restore that system image bring up Outlook it syncs the contacts and boom all the contacts that you had in that system image are no longer valid it's only going to be valid with what's in Google so keep in mind that this is a good little extra way to back up your data and of course as I always tell people these little files save them off onto a CD or a flash drive or something that way in case your computer completely dies and you can't get that information back you've got this information stored so you can get it back as well okay so now let's look at how do we import this back into Google and very simply just like I showed you before go to more actions say import and then it's gonna say select the file that you want and you'll I'm gonna go to my desktop here Gmail storage and I'm gonna say Google format because this is the format that I'm importing so I say open now once I click this import it will upload all of those contacts back to Google uh, just the way they were before so if I had lost all of my contacts here I could import them back into Google and boom everything's back to the way it was okay so that's pretty much it in a nutshell I was probably a little more wordy than I needed to be of course it's a nice thing that this is a video you can go back and forth you can zip forward and backwards uh, but it, I just wanted you to make sure that you understood there's lots of different reasons to do this and there's lots of different reasons to do this in both formats so that way you have the information stored in the proper format in case you lose one or the other okay if you have any other questions or suggestions of course please do put them on the channel and please if you have any suggestions for videos that you want to see, a uh, nagging question you can't seem to solve, please ask it uh, and I'll see if I can't uh, do a video about it to try to solve that problem or at the very least uh, just answer your question in the channel itself. Okay, enjoy, take care, bye-bye.